how often should I backwash my pool filter? Now, if you're talking about the backwashing process, that means that you have a sand filter. And from most manufacturers with a sand filter, what you're going to want to do is note your clean operational pressure and then backwash your sand filter when the pressure increases around 7 to 10 PSI more than your clean operational pressure. And you might be wondering, okay, great, what's my clean operational pressure? What's that mean? It just means that right after you've done a backwash, at the point when you should consider your filter is clean right now, you would take a look at the, the filter gauge to see what is the pressure that the system is operating at. And what is also worth noting is that if you were to change any valve orientations or anything like that, like let's say your pool had multiple valves for suction and return lines, you would want to have the valves in the exact same positioning when you're trying to determine if you should clean your filter or not. And the reason why is you change one of those valve orientations, that changes the pressure that the system operates at. And because you're trying to note a 7 to 10 PSI increase in, this, in the system pressure, you want to be sure that you're comparing apples to apples. So that is the process for determining by the book that you when you should backwash your sand filter. But it is worth noting one thing. Pretty much all swimming pool equipment is rated to operate at 30 PSI maximum. So that means, let's say that you just happen to have a system with a lot of resistance to flow and your clean operational pressure is 25 PSI. Well, you can't wait 10 more PSI before you backwash because 30 is the number that you should not exceed with swimming pool equipment. If you read your manual, it might say somewhere in there a reference to 50 PSI, but make no mistake, that is referring to a burst imminent pressure and you should never operate your system above 30 PSI. So bear that in mind when you're factoring in that 7 to 10 PSI increase, that's assuming that you're nowhere near that 30 PSI threshold. And I think that if you consider these things, then you should have a pretty good idea about when you're supposed to backwash your filter. And I'll just add this one more item in that the filter gauge that you have that reads the PSI, that is a very delicate instrumentation gauge. They're very inexpensive to buy, but they break pretty easily. And yours may or may not be working properly. It's something that we hear all the time. Oh, my gauge is giving me funny numbers. I don't know whether to trust it. The way that you would check it would be to remove it from your filter and it should zero out. If it doesn't zero out, if it re reads any number other than zero when you remove it from your filter, then it's broken and you should replace it. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.